revealed in Jesus Christ on the cross, the message of the cross. That's, that's what I need to talk about is the foundation, the foundation of God's love revealed in Jesus Christ. I don't want to sit here and talk about homosexuality. It's gross. It's sick. It's vile. It's, it's unclean. Feces. It smells like poo-poo. I mean, and you call it love. It, it's just not, it's not right. I, I mean, that's all twisted and upside down. Right is wrong. Wrong is right. Everyone joins in hand and says, oh, what, what do two girls do in bed? It's, it's vile. It's vile. It's, it's wrong. And i got to tell you the truth, what God's attitude is towards it, what God thinks about it, what makes God angry. Why did God rain down fire and brimstone? Why did God destroy the earth in a flood? It's going to happen. You can't blame it. You can't wash out your conscience. It's the conscience with knowledge that tells you that it tells you that homosexuality is, is wrong. Your conscience tells you looking at pornography is wrong. Your conscience tells you it's wrong to lie to your mom and your dad. Your conscience bears witness to you about your sin. Your sin. Your sin. That's what separates you from God's love. But God came with grace and truth that you might hear the truth. And so I talk about the truth. It's a man and a woman. Holy matrimony. Holy matrimony. It is what God looks upon. God looks upon the, the bed, the marriage bed, and he calls it undefiled. The marriage bed is undefiled. God looks upon it, and he blesses the marriage bed. There are children. You all came from, you all came from the womb. God created you. In the world, not two lesbians, not Adam and Steve, not two sodomites, you wouldn't be here. They can't reproduce. They're dying off. They are. They're dying off. You know why they're dying off? Because AIDS, venereal diseases, herpes. I mean, there are consequences, people. You don't spit in God's face. You don't just tell God, hey, I'm going to do what I want, when I want, whatever I want. He is king. He rules. He reigns, man. You're going to stand before him. You're going to die. And without Jesus Christ, man, without Jesus Christ, you'll end up in the lake of fire. You need to be born again. You need to be born again. It's your conscience that's, that's with knowledge. Your conscience that tells you you're guilty. Your conscience. You understand that God wrote his law on your heart, and you know it is wrong to be a lesbian. You know it is. But you've got to join hand, join in hand. you got to have parades. You've got to push your agenda. You got to get married. It's not a holy matrimony because God hasn't blessed it. It's not holy. Holy means set apart. God put Adam and Eve together and it was holy. It was pure. It was beautiful and, 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 and incredible. But what did man do? Man perverted. Man got sick. Man started looking at other things, lusting in his eyes, the lust of the eyes and the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. You started doing things that were unclean. Not right, filthy. You broke down the boundaries of God, and now where do those boundaries end up? It's whatever feels good, do it. Whatever feels good with uh, with uh, your your dog. Whatever, whatever feels good, it's all right. I mean, hey, it, it is good. You know, you all join together. You say whatever you feel. If it feels good, do it. But I'm going to tell you, it's wrong to be a lesbian. It is wrong. It was always wrong. It always will be wrong. You're never going to be able to change God's mind of having sex before marriage is right. It's for an occasion, premarital sex. You will never tell God it is right. Put a condom on. I was safe, God. I was protected from the plague of AIDS or herpes. No, no. God says holy matrimony, purity. Walk with him. Serve Jesus Christ. Read your Bible. Get alone with God. And you will experience a blessing. Blessed is that man. Blessed is that man whose sins are not imputed to him. Blessed is that man. And you're in serious danger, Pastor. You're going to stand. You know the deepest place in hell is hypocrisy. You know the deepest place in hell is for those who say they're a Christian but, but live like the devil. Live like the devil. And they are, the Bible calls them workers of iniquity. The God hates all workers of iniquity. A worker of iniquity is like this pastor who stands up and says, being a lesbian is okay. Wicked, wicked. It's wicked. Shame. It's shame. It's shame that two women would kiss each other. Shame. Yeah, it is. It's wrong. 
It's wrong. It's wrong. No, someone's got to tell you what God thinks. It's right in the Bible. But this pastor says, a worker of iniquity, he says, oh, it's okay to be a lesbian. That's a worker of iniquity, encouraging you to sin against God, to do your will. I'm telling you, you need to surrender your will. You have no rights. You have no opinion. You are not God. You're not in control. You submit to God. You humble yourself. You come in humility and 